That cockatoo way over there is eating Calitrus nuts. Well, that's the native cypress tree. There's more than one type of native cypress tree. There's two types. There's a black cypress and a white cypress. I don't, I'm not sure what sort that is. But it's eating the nuts, Calitrus nuts. They're a sort of a bit like a pine tree. They have sort of cones, sort of little cones. Oh, so far away. It's in the wind. See, it's eating those nuts. Listen to the kookaburras. So if you want to attract parrots and cockatoos, you can grow Calitrus nuts. There we are, my camera. Put your comb up in the sun with the sunlight shining through it. C A W L I T R I S, Calitrus. Are you going to bolt? They are beautiful trees, Calitras. They're little sort of fir trees. If you didn't know anything about native trees, you would think they were just a type of conifer. Parrots eat them too. I think the cockatoos have stronger beaks and can rip the, the uh, little cones open, but there is a time when the nuts will open by themselves and uh, release the seeds a bit. So parrots do eat them too. The seeds, I mean. Crunch, crunch, crunch. What is it, Saturday, the tenth of January? Not January, <laughs> November. The afternoon. It must be about five o'clock daylight saving time. In the afternoon. I haven't looked at the calendar. I don't need clocks really, do I? I don't wear watches. Imagine having to wear a watch all the time and thinking about time. There's no need. Look, there's a little junior Calitrus tree. There's a little junior Calitrus tree. See how it's got a little knot here? It's uh, lost its seeds, but that's what they have. They have a little sort of pine cone up there. That's what they have. Look at that. See that? It's a pretty little pine cone up there. That cockatoo was eating the seeds that would have been held. This one's lost its seeds. Let's have a look. That's what they look like. Oops. That's what they look like. 
quite decorative really aren't they? You can paint them silver or gold and use them as decorations and dried flower arrangements and things. Very pretty. That's what the cockatoo was eating. There's a silhouette of some little opened pine cones or native pine trees, little native cypress pines. They've lost their seeds and that's the remaining shell, very pretty. There are some cypress nuts, calutrous nuts. You can see why they'd be using dried flower arrangements, can't you? If they were painted silver or gold or just even plain. Very attractive in a dried flower arrangement. Uh, this is, are they called perpetuals? Is that what they're called? Well, oh, aren't they pretty? Lovely. That's what the little cypress nut opens into after it loses its seeds. So if you plant a cypress tree, a native cypress, calitris of any sort, you will definitely attract parrots. And you'll have the added boon of uh, dried flower arrangements. Uh, you could rearrange them. You could glue that on and rearrange it, couldn't you, to your liking, like artists do. Very pretty. Looks like a flower. A beautiful flower. That's what it looks like. I think that's a cuckoo shrike making that noise. Is it a black-faced cuckoo shrike? Oh, there's another golf ball. I've decided that birds drop these golf balls. I think they pick them up thinking and hoping they're eggs. And then they abandon them when they realise they're not eggs. True. I, to be to be honest, I've never seen one dropped. I don't, I've never seen one dropped by a bird. I've never seen a person slug a golf ball over this way either. And uh, I just don't know how they get here. But I think that I've decided they're dropped by birds. That's what I've decided. I wouldn't like to be dropped. <laughs> I wouldn't like one to fall on my head. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like that at all. Might give you brain damage, mightn't it? There's that little black cat near the bird bath. Isn't it black? I wonder if it's male or female. Isn't it cute? So black. Like soot. It runs away when we walk near. I think it belongs to a neighbour. It's quiet, isn't it? All you can hear is a fly.